Hello students, let us understand weightlessness condition. Now what is weightlessness? It is a condition where a person inside the gravitational field does not experience the gravitational force. What I mean to say is the gravitational force is there but its influence is nullified. That is the influence of gravity is 0. Let us understand this with an application, you will understand it better. Now, let us consider a uh, weightlessness condition in a moving lift. Now, before I go directly to this moving lift concept, let us understand the basics of what are the forces acting on this person standing on the platform. Now, if he is stationary and standing, the first thing which comes to our mind is the weight, which is nothing but the gravitational force exerted by the earth, which is acting downwards given as mg. Also, since he is in equilibrium, he is standing on the floor, then obviously there must be an equal and opposite force balancing this weight. That is nothing but the normal reaction acting on him which is equal to the weight but acting in the upward direction as shown in the diagram. Now, because of this normal reaction, he feels his weight. Okay. So, if I consider him to be in equilibrium, then the forces which are acting on him are balanced. That is, if I consider the resultant force acting on this person, then definitely the resultant force acting on this person would be the weight minus the normal reaction which will be obviously 0 because he is in equilibrium. I hope you understood this very elementary condition. Now, let us move on to the condition of weightlessness in the lift. For this, first consider a person who is standing inside a stationary lift. Now, what are the forces acting on this person? Firstly, there is a weight which is acting in the downward direction mg and there is an equal and opposite normal reaction acting in the upward direction as shown in the diagram. So, if I consider FR as the resultant force, then the resultant force for this person would be the difference between mg and n, that is mg minus n. Now, students, according to the Newton's second law, you know force is given as ma. So, I can write the resultant force as mass into acceleration, where FR is the resultant force, m is the mass of the person, a is the acceleration of the person. So, if I substitute this fr as ma in this main equation, I get ma is equal to mg minus n. Clear? If I just rearrange this and I take n on the other side, I get n is equal to mg minus ma or simplifying I get n is equal to m into g minus a. Let us consider this as a general equation of normal reaction felt by that person and a over here a that is the acceleration with which that person is going down when the lift starts moving down. So, you can call it as acceleration of the lift or acceleration of the person because both are going to go down finally in my later half of the explanation. So, remember this equation because on this mathematically I will try to explain you weightlessness. Now, if I consider the lift to be initially stationary, so a is 0. If I substitute that, I get the normal reaction felt by the person as equal to mg, right? So, in this case, if the person, example, uh, if the person has got a mass of 10 kg and acceleration due to gravity is 10 meter per second square, then in that case, the weight or the normal reaction felt by the person would be 10 into 10, that is 100 Newton. That means, he feels the weight of 100 Newton. Let us consider this as the first condition that is when the lift is stationary. Now, we will go to the second condition. Let us say now the lift is moving downwards. Okay. So, let us start with the normal reaction acting on him. The normal reaction force over here is given as n is equal to m into g minus a mass of the person let us say 10 kg and a is the acceleration due to gravity that is 10 meter per second square. Now, consider the lift moving down 
with an acceleration given as 2 meter per second square downwards. Okay? So, the lift is moving down with an acceleration of 2 meter per second square. So, the normal reaction will now become 10 into 10 minus 2 that is 10 into 8 that is 80 Newton. So, in this case when the lift is moving down that person feels a weight of 80 Newton. Earlier when it was stationary he was feeling a weight of more 100 Newton. Now, when the lift is moving down he is feeling the weight less that is 80 Newton. Now, let us go to the final condition if I say that the cable of that lift breaks that is the lift and the person is freely falling down that is the acceleration of the lift is same as the acceleration due to gravity. Okay? Then in that case if I start with the general equation of the normal reaction the normal reaction in this case is m into g minus a but the lift is moving down with an acceleration same as that of acceleration due to gravity. So, if I substitute in place of a as g I get m into g minus g that is m into 0 that is the normal reaction is 0. It is because both man and lift are moving downwards with the same acceleration as that due to gravity they are both freely falling down. So, in this case the feeling of the weight which that person gets is 0 Newton and students this feeling of no weight is nothing but called as weightlessness condition. So, now students consider me standing in a stationary lift. In this case the normal reaction will be the same as the gravitational force experienced by me which will be maximum. Now, suppose if I consider the lift starts moving downwards. So, I consider the lift moving down. As the lift starts moving down, then the normal reaction will decrease. right? So, the influence of the gravitational force will decrease. Now, suppose if the lift starts moving down even more faster. That means, suppose if the lift starts moving with an acceleration same as the acceleration due to gravity. I am considering the lift and myself to be like a freely falling body. So, now let us increase the acceleration of the lift same as the acceleration due to gravity. Then in that case, I will start experiencing weightlessness. That is, the normal reaction will become 0 and this is called as the feeling of weightlessness. Okay? Let us decrease the acceleration now. As I decrease the acceleration, I start feeling my weight again and the normal reaction goes on increasing. And finally, if I stop the lift, the acceleration due to gravity is completely felt by me or in that case, my normal reaction is same as the weight. Now, let us understand weightlessness condition in a satellite. Consider an astronaut of some mass inside a satellite which is moving with a constant speed along the circular orbit. So, a satellite revolving inside the gravitational field of earth and one astronaut inside that satellite. Now, that person inside the satellite, he is inside the gravitational field, but still inside the satellite, he will experience weightlessness. To understand this, let us consider a satellite which is inside the gravitational field of the earth and revolving in a circular path. Now, as a satellite is revolving in a circular orbit, there is a centripetal force which is a gravitational force acting towards the center of the earth which is balanced by the centrifugal force which is in the outward direction. So, the gravitational force is there, but it is being nullified by the centrifugal force because of which its influence becomes 0. That means, both the satellite and the astronaut are attracted towards the center of the earth, okay? but there is a centrifugal force also which nullifies the effect. And here, the gravitational acceleration is nothing but equal to the centripetal acceleration. The force exerted by the floor of that satellite on the astronaut becomes 0 that is the normal reaction becomes 0 and 
This way, the person or the astronaut starts feeling weightlessness inside the satellite. It's just like a freely falling body or the weightlessness condition explained in the lift. So there is gravitational force, but its influence is not there or its effect is being nullified by some other force because of which the person experiences weightlessness.